Good evening. You're just in time for the story. Take a seat. Every time Bob went down into his laboratory, the rats would freeze, terrified. The twisted scientist had grown these rodents here, in the small lab, the only lives they knew. And so in their own way, they both loved him as the all-powerful being who fed them, and feared him as the monster who would periodically subject them to horrific experiments in order to satisfy his own sadistic whim. He was their god, who giveth and taketh both, but in far less than a happy balance. But it seems that even the god Bob could fly too close to the sun. What new torment could he come up with next? What new hell could he inflict on his subjects? And so he decided upon a torture that would make the collective ranks of history's genocidal maniacs stop in disgust. When the package arrived, he never hesitated to tear it open. He never stopped to consider the peril racked within. He simply picked up the bagpipes and blew with all his might. The instrument deafened a few lucky rats, but more were subjected to its merciless howl. But the sadistic bastard hadn't factored on the unique resonance of the drone, perfectly aligning with the lab's support structure. For the rats, the cacophonic sound was the sign of the apocalypse, but also heralded their salvation. The building collapsed, killing many of them, but also Bob, hoisted upon his own sadistic petard. The remaining rats would go on to remember the dark times and the evil progenitor god that had been smote by the destructive power of the low Celtic drone. Bob, though, only went to hell, where he joined Asmodeus's 666 piece band, seated next to Stalin on the harmonica and the entire cast of Cats, the movie. And that's the end of the story. Good night.